and now being joined by African Affairs Analyst Achike Chudi uh, to tell us more about um, this sad incident. Now, can you tell us uh, what is the implication of his death on peace efforts in the region? Well, um, obviously the details are still sketchy. I'm sure that in the days um, are to come, a lot more will um, unravel uh, with regards to uh, what, uh, I mean, how, how he died. And uh, we hope that um, uh, these things will not be something that we should uh, charge into a deeper uh, political crisis. Uh, obviously, uh, for somebody who has been in power for 30 years, just as he has been, uh, he would have um, uh, been in control of so many things uh, in Chad. And so, obviously, his death is going to leave a very, very large vacuum, uh, you know, uh, to fill, to be exceedingly very difficult. Of course, if we remember, if we go by what happened with um, uh, the former Ivorian uh, president, Hufe Bwani, uh, who died uh, after many de decades of uh, being in power, and uh, the subsequent uh, crisis that um, erupted um, as a result of that. So, I think that um, when a person has stayed for so long, uh, he... He, 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 he kind of controls a lot of the institutions of governance in, in, in his country, especially in Africa, where we are still practicing some level of a quasi democracy. And uh, I mean, he, he was larger than life in uh, Chad. Um, a lot of the youths in Chad have not known any other leader except uh, Idris Deby. And um, he had his hand in virtually all of the security situation in, in Chad. Uh, all of the international collaborations that Chad got into were done, you know, by virtue of uh, uh, of um, the way he inserted himself into some of uh, these uh, these issues. Uh, so it, there is no way that it is not going to affect uh, the peace process and the, some of the agreements, especially the international agreements that uh, he has had with them, um, you know, more in other countries like most especially France. Uh, to, he, of course, was very close to France. And then all the other agreements he had with other countries. So all of these things are going to impact seriously uh, on, on Chad as a country and uh, on the security. So it will depend again on the circumstances of his death. We understand that his son is going to take over from him. So we hope that somehow he would have uh, passed on some um, uh, details to the son about uh, how uh, he was able to do some of the things that he did. Um, now, now, so, sorry to interrupt you. Now, speaking of his son, um, is there anything significant to the fact that his son has now been made the head of the interim government? Uh, well, um, maybe uh, the people behind that uh, wanted some level of uh, you know, stability. Uh, the fact that uh, the man uh, bestrode uh, the child for like a colossus for about uh, 30 years, three decades, and uh, the, the son now takes over, I think it will ensure some level of stability. But that is not an indication that uh, the uh, the son's uh, leadership of a child would um, go down well with some people because the son can never be the father. Uh, but again, it depends on those that are backing the son. I want to believe that many of them will be allies of the father, so they will give the son all the support that is needed. We have seen something similar in the Democratic Republic of Congo, but of course, at uh, the death of Eloron Kabila at that particular point in time was, was very controversial, where he was accused of being directly involved in the, you know, uh, death of the father. And we hope that um, uh, this is completely different in Chad. And so uh, we would expect some uh, level of uh, cooperation uh, with the son. If not, then we're going to have a problem. Uh, it, there is a possibility that a crisis uh, could break out if they do not ma manage this uh, situation early enough. Uh, so the son has to now, and then all of those people behind him, we have to be able to uh, ingratiate themselves more or less to the Chadian people and give them a sense of uh, stability and continuity, at least in the immediate uh, terms.